I was eight years old, yeah. I had a uncle. He used to live in down the states, near Bay. So I used to watch him. He come visit grab grandpa, cause that grandma that was their daughter. So I used to watch him, and he said, "Could you teach me?" So I got the basics from him. That's where I went on. Never stopped after that. He said, "I don't have to teach you. You got it in you." He said, "You're raised with it." So that's because that's I love my fish boats. That's how I started. So my I mean, uncle gave me the basic and said, "I don't have to show you anymore. It's, it's in your system. You're born with it." So, so that was good. Because everything by eyesight, I, I, I get a block like that one there. That's where I'm going to start from with the cab and all that stuff. I don't measure nothing. Everything's by eyesight. Mountain chisel. That's all I use. Chisels there, and a wood brass. That's all I use. I don't use no power tools. That's so why I say you power tools. I said no. These boats are too small for a power saw. <laughs> Well, how I want a shape like the stirring the ball, and, it, and I cut the keel out like I did there. I cut the chin to how deep it can go, and that's how I start. And I shape, start shaping the ball with my own eyesight. So th that's how I do it. There's the one's name down in the car she made after my wife's name. She put the name on herself. She put El Tibber on. She put the name on herself, but most of them one boat down there's name after my cat. <laughs> Marilyn, Marilyn J. One of the name after my old girlfriend, but I don't want to say that to you. <laughs> so not many modern tools really. The only thing I get is that drill when I put the plywood on. When I sh rough shape, that's what I want to use is that and a drill for inside when I drill it out. Because everybody says, well, I keep the work up. Because these boats in Costa Rica, they're well known from all over the world. I get people from London, England, Germany, Munich, all. Even from an Arab country, I've got people visiting the museum, so the boats are well known over the world now. That makes you feel good though, too. I make my own, like my own drums and masks and stuff. I do my own soldering, rails. The big one. That five foot one, it's got close to over, close to over a thousand worth of fittings on there. That turn buckles and shackles and rails and stuff. But the smaller ones like that size, they're close to a thousand worth of fittings on there. Top deck for the cabin, I make a little furniture and stuff for the for the galley, little tables and sinks. I make that all myself. Yeah, I love it. I want to hear about myself. I'm, I'm in heaven with these boats when I'm carving. The other time I goof, I swear at it. <laughs> I don't want to sell them. That one guy, I guess he, I don't know who he was. Did he carve me a boat? I said, yeah, I'll carve you a fish. I was working in the River. I'll carve you a boat. It's gonna take me a year. Oh, crazy, I'm trusting. So I told him, your boat's done now. He said, I'll give you $50. I looked at him, I said, goodbye. <laughs> 